Right, okay then. Looking good, there we go. All should be fine. I have myself a beer. Lovely jubbly. Oh, inconvenient timing. It just hosted SWAT at the exact moment that I, that I went live. <clears throat> okay then. Cool, brilliant. Oh, the dog has done a gaff. That's disgusting, sweet pea. Blech. Right, uh, so welcome everybody. Welcome to uh, yes, a bit of Stellaris uh, to those who uh, yeah, to those who uh, were sitting around after a bit of a whole fast. And thank you for watching. Um, so yes, uh, this is uh, my uh, provi uh, sorry, the Provian Dominion campaign. Uh, so it's my third attempt at Stellaris, but I don't have a huge number of hours in the game. Uh, I've got about forty-one, so that's not that's not great considering uh, how in depth this uh, this game really is. Um, but all, all the all the same, I am trying. Um, yes, so to get people up to speed insofar as what's going on, this is a grand strategy game in which you play as an alien race of your own design that then has to take over the galaxy. Uh, this is the galaxy that we've selected, a disc galax galaxy, and we are the Provians. So if I go down here, we are a uh, sort of um, a mollusk, right? No, crustacean type race. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so with big fat tentacles and uh, lots of mandibles for grabbing things. We're highly intelligent, very fast breeders, and uh, but we also don't get along. We're quite combative with each other, quite cutthroat, and we're quite militant. And also we're fanatical egalitarian. Uh, so uh, yeah, we like stuff. We like technology. Uh, we like uh, researching robots and that sort of thing. Um, and right now, what the current score is, is that our Dominion is trying our best to expand. The number of worlds that we've been able to detect, you know, to, to colonize has been quite poor. Um, there are very, very few decent worlds uh, that my primarily aquatic, but not, not necessarily aquatic, more like a swampy um, type race can safely occupy. Um, unfortunately, to our south, other empires have been much more lucky than we are. Um, this group of mammals down here, called the Skuldari Confederacy, um, they have gobbled up numerous worlds. They have nine planets versus our three, and a huge number of population. Um, so this does give them tech research penalties, but all the same, they are just consuming territory. Um, now, I expect there's going to be a war with them at some point soon, because we're just too different. They are very spiritualist. I believe they're also pacifists, uh, whereas we are militant and, uh, well, you know, egalitarian. Uh, sorry, materialistic. So, um, yeah, we are we are almost certainly going to be involved in a battle with them at some point. Militarily, they are stronger than... Oh, sorry, I've just noticed Steam is open, so I'm just going to close that. Hang on. Um, we are also militarily weaker than they are, uh, so this is something that we've got to take in mind and we've got to upgrade the military uh, in order to, uh, well, deal with the inevitable uh, Navy engagement that will occur. So yes, uh, welcome. So uh, I don't know if the war is going to kick off this stream. I doubt it. So right now we're just trying to prepare for what will be a battle to the death with this particular race of aliens down here. Um, so here we go. What am I doing in terms of research? I'm working on FTL inhibitors. Uh, I'm working on uh, sort of like um, genetic upgrades for my leaders. Um, and also the flat cannon for my ships. Um, food situation is not great. We've got a huge stockpile of food, but we, we do have a bit of a loss, as in we, do, we have too many mouths to feed. Um, so I, I certainly need to up food production. Energy-wise, energy is looking good, as are minerals. So, um, yeah, let's just carry on. Thank you, Dude Skull. Thank you very much, Dude Skull. Thank you. Right, so how much influence... Oh, yes, yeah, so the big thing that I'm trying to do right now is over here, there is a tiny and very pathetically... Uh, very pathetic um, strength empire that consists of two planets. They're called the High Kingdom of Matsonia. And uh, what I need to do right now is I'm trying to steal this world here. Now, all I need to do is get a, a little bit more influence... So 30 influence points, so four per month, and I'll be able to steal this system. This is because there is a strategically important resource in this system. So here, around this red dwarf, around this moon of one of its planets, is... Uh, Pitharan dust, which basically increases, it's a fine energy dense dust which serves as a fertilizer, a fantastic fertilizer. If we can grab it, we'll be able to give a 10% food boost across the entire empire, which is pretty damn good. Um, if this empire steals it before we do, we will have to declare war against them in order to squash them. It would give our navy some good experience, so it could be a good thing. Um, and uh, yeah, but basically I need to steal that resource absolutely um, before they uh, pinch it off us. Um, we've also spotted numerous... Ah, some... Perhaps these would be worth attacking. Various smaller fleets of, uh, of native life forms. Those are quite powerful. They are very powerful. Um, those are much weaker. Emerald Roma, uh, Romas? Hmm. 
yeah, it might be worth targeting some uh, just groups of sort of um, native life forms and pirates and stuff in order to up the skill of our navy. Where are they currently stationed? I believe they're down at the Catless Starbase. Yes, they are. First and second fleets. First fleet under command of Khan Seaweed, so Admiral Khan Seaweed. Um, Construction complete. Okay, please dispatch the first fleet. Yeah, we can head there safely. Um, so dispatch first fleet in this direction, please, to hunt down some insects for the sake of experience. Oh, the dog has done a fart behind me, and oh my god, it's horrible. Oof. Okay, Gumball Prime, one of my smaller colony worlds over here, um, has just, uh, what's it just built? Uh, yes, the hydroponics bay to try and offset this uh, food problem. Uh, please upgrade, so it's producing two energy, well, it's not, not producing anything right now because the population is still uh, growing. It's not at the point where they can work the land, really, or work the hydroponics bay. Uh, all the same, for 90 minerals, upgrade the hydroponics bay to a rank 2. So we can get uh, more food per turn, and that should sort out the food situation. But we do need a big surplus, uh, basically. Um, Joanne, that's very kind of you to consider, but um, actually I'm all good. Uh, my patrons and my Twitch subs have been very generous to me, um, so um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm sorted. But thank you anyway for the consideration. Um, thank you very much. Um, very kind. Um, yes, yeah, so, seriously, people have been very, very, very kind, very generous to me indeed. So thank you for your support, everybody. Um, Right, so what's my next move? Right now, uh, just keep expanding. Keep building ships. Uh, what's the latest? Uh, sorry, let's go to the Catless Starbase. Uh, the shipyard should be... Yes, yeah, so the, the shipyard is working on a Brawler-class cruiser. Now, once this is finished in 86 days, I'd like to upgrade both Fleet 1 and Fleet 2 uh, with some better weapons. Well, not better weapons, better shields, because I've discovered that the Skildari Confederacy really like lasers. They really do like lasers, so if we get stronger shields, we'll be able to counter them. Now, also, they, they, their armor systems kind of suck. Their armor technology is a bit rubbish, which is why I've installed a few rail guns into the, uh, the tech patterns of various starships. Basically, I want to upgrade my ships to be able to defeat the Skaldari Confederacy in battle. Also, let's have a quick look and see. If we go to the diplomacy screen, are they at war? I think they're... Let's have a look at them. Who are they fighting? Are they at war with anybody? Perhaps we can make friends with the people they don't like. They're trading with the Kithin citizens. Yeah, so these guys down here, this diplomatic group of aliens, um, they're, yeah, they're a, sorry, democ democratic, they're a democracy. Um, they are rival, yeah, they have a rivalry with us. Uh, migration treaty, yeah, they work closely with the Kithin Citizen Alliance. Close borders with, and, hmm, they do have a war justification against their friend. Strange. Okay, they don't have any direct enemy that we, we can perhaps pal around with, which is a bit of a shame. Um, all the same, this group of mushrooms over here interests me because what are, I think they're, they're, their goals are similarly aligned with us. Where are they? The Zikmok Interplanetary League. Um, thank you, me, uh, ML Haxi. Thank you very, sorry, Haxa. Thank you, ML. Thank you very much. Thank you. They aren't at war. Um, there's a column called War Status. Yes, indeed. They just uh, they got just um, a, a, a justification for war. For war. Um, okay, so they've been losing territory against these guys. The insects down here. And we do kind of like each other. Can we perhaps... So they're xenophilic and fanatical militants. So... Hmm. Hello. They're honor-bound warriors. Or a warrior race of weird mushroom people. Okay. Um, right. Yes, can we perhaps trade? Maybe. Um... Now, I never, I never did figure out how the trade window works. So, if I remember correctly. It was always something that confused me. A research agreement... Uh, what's the research agreement do? Gives other party 25% research speed for technologies that the Provian Dominion have already researched. Okay. Uh, applicable. Yeah. I mean, why not? Why? Oh, I see no reason why not. Hopefully it will improve our... So for 10 years, we'll get 7... Oh, trade acceptance. Hmm. Yeah, so let's do it for... Let's do it for about 12 years. So about the same length as a normal edict. Um, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's see if we can get in their good books, really. Do I like the game so far? Indeed I do. I do like it. Um, it's a good... Uh, I, I keep mentioning this. Stellaris is a good game, which always seems to be on the cusp of greatness. But in my opinion, it never quite does it. Uh, perhaps other people think contrary. It, it's, it's a good game that can almost be a fantastic game. Like one of the best. But it's, it always feels hindered by some severely... Just, just some very, very bad design decisions. And I don't seem to be the only one who thinks that. Because they keep redesigning the game from the ground up. You know, they keep doing, like, not small things. Very major overhauls to a lot of bad design choices that they made early on um, which makes a lot of the end game very unsatisfying um, so maybe one day it will be a fantastic game it's not at that point yet 
Um, thank you, Day Tato. Thank you very much, Day Tato. Thank you. Um, yeah, like when I played it back, like people at, at launch, they were saying it was awful. And I went, when I played it back in January, oh god, I, the, I got to the end game and oof, it was so bad. Like it was just doom stacking fleets and just numbers battling numbers, and you had no real, you just good luck. You, scissors, paper, rock. You just got to guess what they have. That you know, that's it really. Oh, it's so unsatisfying. Thank you, Dark uh, Heejee. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dark. Thank you. Hi, Cake. Hello, Cake. Uh, sorry, what was I doing? Um, did we uh, open borders, guarantee independence, offer trade deal? We did just offer them a trade deal. So what's the information? Communications. Transfer the communication channels of known empires. Uh, yeah, we can active sensor link as well. Uh, let's offer a communications. Okay. So presumably we've gotten them in touch with other races that they don't know about, if there are any. Okay. What's this? Oh yes, trade deal offer. Uh, they uh, they accept the gift with gratitude. Okay. And they also accept the communications thing with gratitude. So has that changed their opinion of us? Uh, so, where are they, sorry? The military junta. I, I, I can't recognise their icon yet. Oh, it's down here. 20, plus 29. Okay. Uh, minus two yearly. Uh, why minus two? Oh, does it go down in, in, over time? Huh. Thank you, Jay Guax. Thank you very much, Jay Guax. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Boop the space whales. I am sending a fleet to boop the space whales, yes. We're not going to boop the, uh, the sentient nebula, though. Lest it destroy us. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, Odd Strokey. Thank you very much, Odd Strokey. No, I didn't ask for anything in return with the mushrooms. It's a gift. I just want to uh, get on the good books. Aha! So as you can see down here, they are losing quite a bit of territory. They, they had, I think they were fighting over this star initially. Uh, so they're fighting... Uh, what are they... I keep forgetting their name. They're called the... What are they? I recognise the... Yeah, these guys. So the, the Kithin Citizens Alliance. They don't like us. They're a democratic group and we're, uh, we're a military dictatorship. Um, they're egalitarian and fanatical militarists. And they are, they are really kicking the crap out of the mushrooms. Yeah, they've already taken that system and these four. Yeah. So their navies are doing a number against the mushrooms. Um, so I expect, yeah, there's probably going to be a big war against me and certainly these two. So it would be nice to get these in on my side. Um, Gepetti. Thank you, Gepetti. Thank you very much, Gepetti. Okay. So uh, can I grab this star system? with a strategic resource. So 0.4 influence remaining. So at the end of the month, oh, here we go. Oh, um, at goal uh, six, a strategic resource has been discovered. During the survey of gold, uh, goal six, it's a star system, the ISS T-King discovered a large deposit of various rare terraforming fluids. <laughs> Access to these fluids would greatly assist the process of terraforming planets. So uh, water, effectively, water and other things. But, um, you know, things that we can pick up in large quantities and dump on other worlds to change their to change their uh, composition. We have the technology. If we control the system, we can extract the resource. Show me where. It is probably a million miles away. It is, Christ, yeah. Okay, we're, pff, we're not getting that anytime soon. By the time we get over there, it's already been gobbled up by one of these empires, no doubt. Okay, well, it's good to know it's there at least. Construction complete. Okay, uh, let me just uh, pop back to this system because I really would like that. Take a look at my take a look at my edicts and decide how the fleet should act in combat. Sure, sure. I will in a minute. Let me just get this uh, squared away. Mm. Construction complete. Having rivalries in common is the best way to make new friends. Sure, sure. I'll have a look. Thank you. The Catla Starbase has finished building a Bruiser class cr uh, cruiser. Bruiser class cruiser. Brawler. Sorry. Brawler class. I got it wrong. What's with that giant gap? Uh, so this would be the center of the galaxy, where uh, there would be a supermassive black hole uh, with a massive accretion System disk survey. in the middle, effectively, which is, a, is what's, at the, uh, what's at the center of every galaxy. Construction complete. Okay, so we finished surveying two of two systems, and we finished building something. Where's Energetic Bum? He's. Oh yes, uh, we were just uh, building some mining uh, colonies, mining bits. Um, Right, so please go back here to Cookie Meister. There are some mining things that we missed because I was just trying to consume as much energy as possible. Um, okay, so that's, so one of my builder ships, Energetic Bum, is moving to the Cookie Meister system to build uh, stations, mining stations. Right, we finished researching the uh, FTL inhibitor. So gravity well projectors can be used to create localized packets of space where safe entry into hyperspace is impossible even. Um, 
Sorry, where safe entry... Oh, I see. Uh, the immense power requirements and the size of the projectors prohibits their use on anything smaller than a starbase. So, yes, we'll be able to use this technology built on a starbase to stop enemy fleets from leaving wherever they want to leave. So they can only leave a star system from the place that they came in at. Which could be very useful from a military perspective at the borders, certainly. Or, you know, around core worlds. Okay. Yes, indeed, you do have to have the tech around, uh, everyone, everyone, even. Uh, we do have the tech for uh, terraforming stuff. I don't think we have the tech for the fertilizer, but I just want to grab the strategic resource before they do. Um, okay. Uh, so let's go... Do I own a limited company for streaming? It's sole trading, it's called in the UK. So you, you register as a sole trader, which it just means that uh, you are... Like, you could be anything. You could be selling things on, you know, like memorabilia online. You could be... Uh, knitting stuff and selling it just means that you are a business person and also just one person instead of a company uh, You register as a sole trader and then the government goes okay Well, how much money did you make in this tax year you fill in the numbers and they go okay? Well, you owe us this amount of money and also uh, you have to pay like here's uh, You have to pay like the next third I think for the next year So it's rolling like that so you declare what you owe what you know what you've made They say you owe this and you pay it off in a sort of staggering in a staggered amount I, I thought it was going to be simple, but I oh, it was yeah it confuses the hell out of me. I have an accountant who does it, but they're, they're not very good. They they just trying to give me the forms and and they're just like here do it yourself and then we'll help you. I'm kind of like well I fucking I want you to do it because I don't know how to do it. Yeah, they're useless. They really are. Um, right. Um, so what's this auxiliary fire control? Uh, this is tech that I can install on the ships to do what? Sorry. More advanced calculations. Oh, it increases accuracy in battle. Okay, cool. Uh, so 15 months to research. Shield capacitors, uh, 36 months to research. So this is a pizza to pasta on our physics research now that she's done with the FTL. Um, yep, Yil, I'm still working on it. As always, still working on the latest video. Sorry. Mm. <clears throat> advanced combat roles. What's this, sorry? Further advances in predictive algorithms allow for uh, augmented tactical decision making in the field. What does it do? I don't know what that is. Um, colony development speed. Could get that. X-ray lasers. Just upgrades the lasers. Um, let's go with the top one. So we're going to go with this one because it's 15 months. Every time I unlock a new piece of technology, I have a tradition called faith in science, which means that uh, I get three months worth of, uh, worth of unity straight off the bat. So we should definitely go for the quick pieces of tech so that I can get loads of unity points and unlock more traditions. Mm. Okay. Right, so have we grabbed that star system? You start, Yes, good. So 17% building. I believe he's alone in the star system. Who is that? That's Phoenix. Good, good. Thank you, Jaeger. Thank you. Or Jaeger, even. Th thank you very much. Thank you. That's most kind. If I'm Ginger, then who's the guy who comes up on Google Images if you search for it? So that's Mr. Batty. He thinks it's funny to pretend he's me at conventions and stuff. He's one of uh, Cyanide's Twitch mods. I think one of mine as well, actually. I can't remember. No, is, is he one of mine? Not sure. But uh, yeah, he's in our bed. <laughs> he's a knob. Um, so what's that green icon mean? FGL inhibitors. Oh? Oh, hang on. Do all star bases get it by default? I was I was not aware of this. Okay, contains one or more FGL inhibitors. Stand by. Oh, okay. I did not know this. So star bases by default get FGL inhibitors. Excellent. Ship hyperspace lane detection range 4, so it can just, yeah. Very good. Okay. Right. So that's going to make it harder for the enemy to uh, launch attacks on us. <clears throat> Hi there, Loxa Loxaby. Loxaby? Loxaby. No whole fast stream? Yes, it's already done, Todian. Uh, it took about an hour and five minutes. Are there any video that I uh, have lo made long progress on, but I had to abandon for whatever reason? Not necessarily abandoned, but I'm working on a series that consists of about 12 to 13 videos. Um, five of which I'm not happy with the quality, and I want to go back and redo. Um, but uh, I've, well, I've finished 10 of them so far, so 10 of 12 or 13. So that, that progress is ongoing, bit by bit, as best I can. But, um, yeah. So I haven't really abandoned it, so I'm trying to sort of steal whatever time I can, uh, you know, I can get to work on them uh, Mr. Mrs. Tetris complete. okay hang on a minute construction complete good we finished the starbase fantastic so we've secured this 
this territory. Now, th we, this is quite far out, as you can see. So let's get, uh, get ourselves a star base here. So, upgrade this small starport for 270 minerals to a star base. And we're going to militarize this sector. We're going to build defensive platforms as well. Um, I want to make sure this is a, a nice, strong defensive point to protect the strategic resource. Because the AI really gives a shit about the strategic resources, I've read. Hmm. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, cool Archmage, our scientist working on societal research, has reached rank four. Rank four, sorry. Oh, I'm drinking a beer. Very good. So let's just, uh, yeah, now that, we've, well, now that we've expanded this way, we'll use our remaining influence to certainly gobble up these stars, but truth be told, we, we need to kind of race, race the mammals to this star system here. Or, say, that star system here. We just need to cut them off from this territory so we can eat it at our leisure. Weapon modules on the star base equals more than weapons platforms. Indeed, Rockin, but, you know, I'm sure they would be considering the size of a star base. But I would like to uh, militarize a, sec a sector as best as possible. Um, also, now that I can, because the Brawler class has finished its redesign, let's get Second Fleet through its upgrades. Uh, so, Ship Designer, go to the Brawler Cruiser. So, I went too heavy on the armor. Let's go with shields. So, mostly shields. And then, take off... So, replace these broadsides with rank 2... Uh, these broadside lasers with rank 2 coil guns, which is a kinetic weapon. Mainly because uh, then I won't go over, over the power requirements. Um, okay, cool. So, this is... Uh, well, it's got five kinetic-based weapons and two lasers. And it's got, uh, what is it? Five, six shields. So, nice. Save the brawler class design. And then we can put it through its relevant upgrade. Now, where is Second Fleet? Second Fleet is probably stationed at the Catler Starbase. There they are. I would like to put... Yeah, so th yeah, this is the one that has the uh, the Brawler class, uh, four Novi class destroyers, and 12 Pass Fog class Corvettes. I'd like you to go through your upgrades, please. So, for, yeah, for 85 minerals, it barely cost me anything. It's just a quickly swapping around components we already have, really. Okay. That's a good point, Rockin. Thank you very much. If I mass my shields, then uh, my fleet will be helpless in a pulsar. Ships upgraded. Uh, pulsar, so pulsar, pulsar stars will disable shields. Um, very good. Second fleet has been upgraded. The Catler Starbase has finished its work. Uh, please now order the Catler Starbase to produce... Let's get some more ships. Yeah, just keep building ships, really. Um, second fleet. Let's get some additional destroyers, please. Uh, order... Oh, wrong button. Yeah, order, give me two Novi class destroyers and second fleet. Hi there, Mr. X Happy X Rain. Hello. Welcome indeed. Don't I need point defenses? The Corvette, uh, sorry, the yes, the Corvettes have point defenses. Hmm. Right. Where's Cadia? Well, we've, we've yet to find the Eye of Terror. Oh no! Oh no! Sorry, I thought it was, uh, I thought it said "cool brain dies," but it's "cool brain dies often." It's one of my scientists who's assigned to the ISS brain. Um, where is he? Oh fuck! Screwed up. He's scanning one of my sub one of my star systems. Oh, one of my construction ships, Tebow Baggins, requires fresh orders. Yep, wait there because I, I need him to go grab. The, so gr fuck. So I need him to grab that star system, then that one, then that one, then that one. So bish 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 like that, and then we can hopefully cut off the mammals. Sorry, castle is cool. Um, if I don't say hi back, my bad. It's um, there's lots of text to be honest. But my bad. Sorry. Um, also, yeah, let's have a look at the star bases because we have quite a few star bases that exist purely for the FTL upgrades uh, that they're given the system. A 20% boost of movement speed, so I can move my ships quickly up and down the empire. Um, can I build? No, it's the it's these buildings, isn't it? It's not the it's not a module. It's a building. I was going to build the um. Hydroponics bays and uh, resource silos and stuff. No, what was I was going to build? I was going to build something. I've forgotten what it was. It was something useful. It was um, that was it. It was a uh, nebula mining. That was it. It was a, a ne nebula mining thing. Can I not build it here? Trading hub. Crew quarters. Oh, here it is. Nebula refinery. Okay. Um. Requires the system to be... Oh, I see. It requires the system to be inside a nebula. Ah. How can I tell? Is that a nebula? I guess the nebulas are named, aren't they? 
Uh, thank you, it's Magged. Thank you very much. Sorry, it, it's uh, it's Maggie Cuz. Thank you very much, it, it Maggie. My bad. Okay. If I'm planning to go to war soon, it'd be a good idea to have a listening post at the border. Already done, Falrond. It's already in, in position at Catler. Um. Okay, and yes, we've already done so. I, I I know what their fleet composition is, which is why we've adapted our fleet. Um, so I'm going to clear this uh, patch of toxic kelp in this ocean in order to build something else there. There's a population that's growing. Can we build a mineral processing plant to enhance all minerals by 10%? Well, to be honest, there's not a great deal of minerals coming out of this world anyway. Um, maybe we should build a... Well, it's quite deep inside the empire. No, it's not. Gumball Prime is right on the edge. Maybe we should build a stronghold just in case of invasion. Um, nah. Uh, build a yeah. Build build a mineral processing plant. Yeah. Which will up the uh, mineral amount harvested from that world by ten percent. Okay. I see. There's a nebula there. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Well, um, actually, no. I need to. I need to build the star base on the strategic resource here. Um, okay, energetic bum has finished constructing the mining station at this world here at Kuki Meister. Very good. Uh, could you please? What do I need to do now? Uh, well, we're just waiting for the influence. Really, we just need the influence to keep building. Are there any in Empire places we can build? Yeah, I could build there. Fly over here, please, and build all relevant mining and research stations. Well, just mining for now. Why not use sectors? Uh, well, I don't need to right now, and also I don't. I, honestly, I've forgotten to do so. I need to mod the game to switch the sectors off because I can't stand them. Um, yeah, I just really can't stand handing over the, that sort of thing to an AI. Okay, forty-eight out of forty-eight naval capacity. Can we build any fresh? Hang on, before I go over the limit. Uh, I'd go over the limit, won't I? Let's cancel that. Right, we've reached maximum naval capacity, so the next step will be to build additional anchorages so we can go over that. Um, so, anchorage, anchorage, uh, naval capacity plus four. Yeah, we've got plenty of opportunities to build additional ones. So, build an anchorage here. Two anchorages. So, support, uh, what is it, support systems for additional navy, navy ships. System survey complete. Okay, first fleet has almost arrived at the designated sector where it's going to attack some bugs. Thank you, Nacho Man. Thank you very much, Nacho Man. Thank you. There's a nebula in the Empire on the left. Yes, indeed. Over at Picarius's Drift. Sorry. Uh, Picarius Drift. But we don't have any star bases there. Yeah, I need to, a starport even. Hmm. Outposts do not count. A starport does? Sorry, I assume a starport does. Is that true? Thank you, Hector. Thank you very much, Hector. Thank you. Um, that's very generous, generous of you to offer, classy man. But it's um, my, my existing subs and patrons have been extremely generous to me, so it's all good. Um, thank you kindly for the consideration. Um, but yeah, don't don't worry. People have got it very covered. People have been very kind. Thank you. Um, right. So a private collector on Gumball Prime has somehow come into the ownership of an ancient precursor artifact believed to be Cybrex in origin. Despite government pressure, the collector has so far been reluctant to part with it. Okay. Buy the artifact for 500 energy. It belongs in a museum, so declare the artifact to be state property and have it seized, but it requires influence that I don't have. Let the collector keep it. Um, okay, well, we shall purchase it. So for 500 energy credits, there is an artifact which will complete the quest chain, hopefully. Um, for, basically, we, there's this ancient precursor race. It's about 600,000 years old, and they appear to be synthetic. Um, right, so purchase it, please. So for 500 energy credits, Cybrex home system located. So, ah, uh, yes, yeah, so we completed the quest chain. So we've got all six artifacts together. Thank you, Cole uh, Califeral. Uh, sorry, Cole Calciferal. Thank you very much, Cole. Thank you. Indeed, I shall kill the kelp. After intense study of our recovered Cybrex artifacts, scientists on Provaris Prime have managed to deduce the exact galactic coordinates of a system the ancient machines refer to as Cybrex Prime, possibly where the civilization retreated after their abortive attempt to exterminate all sapient organic life. We should launch an expedition to this system before someone else beats us to it. Contact the nearest science ship. 
ends the precursor chain, so this is the the, yeah, the quest to get uh, all six of the artifacts and begin the Cybrex home system event chain. Situation log update. So we now have a new quest on our galactic uh, well situation log, the Cybrex home system home system Cybrex Alpha. Show me, please. Track on the map. Here. Here. Research complete. No, no, that's that's a creature. Sorry, alien specimen. Stop tracking. Auto track. Yeah. How does one zoom to it? Sorry. Bear with me. Can I zoom to it? Where is it? Show me tracking. No, that's showing me all the tracking. Uh. Hang on. Yes, indeed, I did get the world I wanted. Uh, thanks, indeed. Um, little angel wings. Um, oh, get rid of that. Stop tracking. Yeah. There. Oh, what? You're kidding me. Right next to the strategic resource that we just claimed. Was that there before? Whoa. Okay. Interesting. It's a ring world, just like we saw at that fallen empire to the north. Ruined uh, ring section. Interesting. Okay. So what do we need to dispatch? A science vessel. We can send a pizza. Oh, no, wait. She's uh, heading up our research. ISS Brain. Send Brain dies often. Thank you, UK Ronin. Thank you very much, UK Ronin. Thank you. Is this good? A mega structure. So I've never got this far. Not to mega structures, at least. Um, auxiliary fire control. Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, we just finished researching that new piece of tech. I'm not entirely sure what it does. Okay, right. So a uh, cool pizza to pasta. Um, so our physicist, planetary shield generators. Ooh, uh, generates a strong enough energy shield with planetary atmosphere. Um, with within a planetary atmosphere is a greater challenge than in the vacuum of space, but it off but it offers a potent defense against orbital bombardment. Um, okay, hold off on that for, on that for a minute. As as nice as that tech is, I probably could do with better shields, really. Hmm. Thank you, the classy man, and Scion, and Pokey the Peppy. Thank you very much. Thank you. I gotta go with the shields. Why don't I use a face cam? Um, I find them a bit stupid, really. Uh, my strengths rely on, well, my personal strengths rely on my voice performance. Having a little generic white guy in the bottom corner, bottom left of the screen, um, is, um, well, be, it would detract from what I feel is, well, it, it would be a distraction. Um, at best it would be a distraction, at worst it would be horribly narcissistic. Either way, I don't like them. Like, I don't watch, uh, streams with face cams, I just find them annoying. Like, unless you're adding something to the performance with its presence, uh, it's just fucking annoying. You're just another generic white guy in a, in a, on a website, which is a sea of generic looking white guys. I would just be among them. Right. I love you too, Eschelbaum. Uh, Eschelbaum? No homo though. You gotta say no homo. A working room world gives you, uh, 425 Gaia world tiles. A ruined one has to be repaired, but it's cheaper than building a new one, says Swagaton. Ooh! Okay, that could be very good. And right next to a strategically important starbase world that we're going to make. This could be a very important world. Okay. It will need to have a proper name once we've got it, though. Same with all of these star systems. Let's give them names now. Um, right. Um, Rick, Ricky Jedi. Jedi. Thank you very much, Ricky. Um, okay, so, uh, mods, can you pop into sub-only mode, if you please? Uh, so, any volunteers? So... I have four star systems. I think we might have a couple more over here. Yeah, so we've got one more. Yeah, so I've got about probably five, six star systems. Um, if you would like to join as a star... Well, uh, if, if you'd like to have, have a star named after you, please ra raise your hand now. So we have a research station around a small... Uh, what is this? A main sequence star, an orange dwarf. Um, so thank you, Lazy Liberal. Lazy Liberal. So this star is called Lazy Liberal. Okay, welcome. Uh, we still need to build research stations around Lazy Liberal. So the, here is a small bluish white uh, Class B main sequence star. Thank you, SBW. Thank you very much. This one's going to be Mariqueen. Welcome, Mariqueen. And also, hi there. I hope you're well. Right. This star system, which is on the, the crossroads of a, of a nebula down there. Thank you, uh, Nobby Knob. Thank you very much, Nobby. Thank you. Okay, this is going to be... Uh, Cravius. Welcome, Cravius. So you are a fairly large yellow-white dwarf. 
I, I also have a star named after you. Huh. Right, uh, thank you, the Red Commie. Thank you very much. Okay, so the, the extremely important strategic star base star system needs to have a strong, confident-sounding name, I think. One of my long-time viewers. Mm. Who's here? Let's go with... Thank you, Sofa Samuri. Thank you very much, Sofa. Ah, who's here? Let's go with... Strikers Mojo. Hi there, man. This, yep, so Strikers Mojo. You are the starbase world that's going to be protecting lots of fertilizer. You, yeah, basically, your star system is full of poo. Strikers. Space, space poo. Pitharian dust. Yes. We just need to learn how to harvest the stuff. Oh, hang on a minute. No orders. Can you not build mining station? Hang on. Can I actually... Do I have the tech to actually grab it? I don't know if I do. And do I have to colonize the world to grab it? No, it's a toxic world. Hang on. Where's Phoenix? Can you build... Yes, you can. All right. Br fantastic. We can actually mine the poo. Right. So we're mining the, uh, the fertilizer at Striker's Mojo. Hmm. Okay. And then over here... So, did we name this world? Yeah, we did. Okay. So, one last star system over here. Okay, so this is a uh, G-class yellow dwarf star. Let's go with... What's that name? It's very green. It's hard to read. Basunifi. Basunifi. Welcome to the Space Dominion. Uh, you've already got plenty. What have you got? You've got uh, lots of mining and energy-based, uh, well, sorry, mineral and energy-based mining operations uh, taking place in your orbit. So thank you kindly. Thank you, Fire Slam Murdon. Thank you very much, Fire Slam. Thank you. Right. Indeed, Chinny. Yes, I just thought uh, not not for too much longer, to be honest, because it's already eleven o'clock and it's a work night. So um, I'm just drinking a beer and chilling. Then I'll go to bed. For, well, I'll, I'll walk the dog around the block until she has a poo, and then we'll both go to bed. Um, yeah, cheers for the game earlier, Chinny. Cheers indeed. Okay. Yes, yeah, sorry, let me just go over to the edicts. Uh, policies and edicts. Orbital bombardment is already set to selective. Uh, passive study, unrestricted study of, of local life forms. First contact protocol is will be aggressive. Artificial intelligence set to servitude. Robotic workers are allowed. Um, I could spend some energy. I've got quite a bit. So for the last for 11 years, consumer goods reduction, leadership experience gain, growth speed. Actually, 800 is quite expensive for that. Um, hmm. Leave it for now. Okay. Hmm. The Cybrick system is really good. Hmm. Yes, seems so. We'll send over... Uh, well, we've already got... Um, oh, hang on. Where are they? So the ISS brain is on its way carrying brain dies often one of my scientists what's that a pirate fleet has been spotted 1200 strength the first fleet has 1.6k so let's engage them can we scan them before we engage them so a pirate fleet of about 14 vessels being oh i see it's a pirate fleet of that lesser empire i see consists of uh what is it 10 skull and brigand class i don't know what that means I'm assuming corvettes, yeah, 10 corvettes and 4 destroyers. Um, show me their weapon systems, please. Lasers. Lasers, kinetic. Yeah, we take some casualties, but we can take them. Let's do it for the experience. Thank you, Jabari. Thank you very much, Jabari. Okay, that's what we're here for anyway. So Khan Seaweed is going to lead the first fleet into battle against these pirates. Let's go. So the pirates are trying to cross the star system to go somewhere. Yeah, this is this pathetically weak alien race. Their own star base is firing kinetic uh, rocket weapons to try and defend itself, but it's no match. So all of a sudden, a strange alien race, the Provians, appear on their border. Any minute now. When we enter hyperspace. Oh, but 97 seconds. It might be gone by then. Okay, Gumball Prime has finished building its hydroponics. But no, it's a mining. What's it? Very good. And what's this? We finished surveying Electra over there. Hmm. No, the Provian, not Provision. Provian Dominion. What is this game? This is Stellaris. It's a grand RTS game um, set in space in which you have a, an alien race that you build up to... Uh, well, you're trying to build them up to uh, dominance. Okay, so let's have 
Tebow Baggins, my construction ship, build a, an outpost at this star system. Again, I'm just trying to snake my way to gobble up as many planets as possible for the, for the Dominion. Okay, so let's go back up here. So when's my first fleet going to enter hyperspace? About one minute, just over one minute. The pirates are already leaving, though, having bashed the starbase. Yeah, they're leaving the system. They're actually heading towards... Would they come near us? Well, they're already... Well, no, they probably wouldn't come near us. Hmm. Oh, hang on a second. Wait a minute. The dog has done a poo on the on the pad. She's gone and pooped on her puppy pad, so I just need to give her treats and praise her. Good girl, darling. Good girl. Have you done a big poo? Good girl. Well done. Who's a good girl? Yes, you are. You are so good. You are so good. Yes, you are. Well done, Lulu. So basically, she has like a plastic. Uh, there's a plastic mat in the corner, and on that mat is a is like a square, uh, like meter by like approximately half meter, really, uh, it's like a tile of fabric uh, that's made it's made out of the same stuff as nappies, you know, to sort of absorb odors like charcoal stuff. And uh, she pees and poops in the middle of it, and then you just grab it by the corners and uh, tie it up and put it in a bag. Uh, no mess, no smells, and um, yeah, so she she did it right in the middle. So well done. Well done, you can have another treat, hang on. You can have another treat, good girl, you're such a good girl. Yes you are, well done. Right. Okay, so, right now, First Fleet is pursuing a pirate, uh, ele well, pirate elements of a different alien empire nearby. A very weak alien empire, but we're there just to hunt experience, really, for our Admiral. Strikers Mojo Starbase has finished its construction queue, okay? So the Starbase is operational. Uh, we lack the resources to upgrade it to a star hold, but we certainly will. Um, and we should probably put in defense-based uh, upgrades rather than... Uh, oh, yeah, cool. We can put gun batteries. Could too. Yeah, we'll put down defense upgrades uh, so that we can obviously hold this territory if anybody wants to take it off of us. Um, so, shipyard gun battery, missile batteries, two medium-sized weapon slots to the star base, two torpedo weapon slots. Add a gun battery and... Um, down two gun batteries really mm. and here we'll put down probably a listening post disruption field jet so it generates localized fields of agitated subatomic particles around hostile ships in the system significantly reducing the effectiveness of their shields nope hyperlane registrar nope that's jump cooldown defense grid supercomputer defense platforms plus eight targeting up um let's go with the listening post so we can see what's going on around us thank you a uh, hot wheel thank you very much hot wheel thank you kindly thank you um, you haven't played Stellaris since the update to version 2, is it much different? Truth be told, I haven't really reached the point, the, the combat, where I can tell you. Bear with me. Bear with me indeed. <clears throat> is Cyanide on? Cyanide's not live, More is he? Declared. Ooh. Against who? Okay, so the Havoli Stella, M Stella Imperium, so this group up here, have declared war against the Hazar Interstellar Polity. Okay. Now we'll see which empire is the strongest. Truth be told, that's so out of the way that I don't really care about the outcome. We'll probably encounter them much later. Oh, thank you, Azawa. Thank you very much, Azawa. Thank you. That's very generous. Thank you. Oh, hi there, Alistair. Alistair is in the chat, everybody. An associate of ZF who we play with often in VR or RimWorld. Well, he plays lots of RimWorld, but yeah, we play we play with him lots. Feel free to say hi to Alistair. Call him a knobhead. He is a knobhead from Somerset. Who comes from Somerset? Seriously, what's that about? <laughs> Oh, that pirate fleet, that, that pirate fleet is bloody quick. They've, hang on, they're engaging, what are they engaging? Uh, a local star base, it seems, and now they are, oh no, hang on. Mm. Yeah, they're causing significant, yeah, significant problems for this empire. Oh, we've arrived, we're not even moving. Mm. Who stays in Brighton? All the cool people are in Brighton, Alistair. There's me. There's P P PewDie P Fuck you! Fuck you, Alistair! Fuck you and everything within a 50 meter radius of you! Cunt. <clears throat> oh, 
Right. Uh, let's keep. But yeah. So hang on. Sub. Yeah. The sub brass system is. Uh, its defenses. Uh, its outpost has been built. Let's move to the next one. I'm cool. Am I not? I'm. I'm. I'm with it. <laughs> uh, I started wearing cardigans at the age of 19. Construction complete. Fuck you. Cardigans are awesome. Fuck you. System survey complete. Okay, silly fluffy sheep has finished. Yeah, so we've yeah the star base is upgraded. We can now get uh, more navy. Yeah, more ships because we've upgraded the naval capacity. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, name one person in my 35 years of living that that has ever called me cool. Anyway, so down here we have the uh, Skaldari, uh, yeah, Confederacy, uh, for those just joining the stream. Uh, and, uh, it's almost certain that a war against them... Oh, a neutral fleet. Hang on, what does that mean? Oh, it's a transport fleet. I see they've even got armies. Ah, invading armies. Ugh. Okay, they, they're building invading armies. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Let's see what they do with those. They're certainly gearing up for war. Right, where's that science vessel anyway? It's a uh, phoenix. She, uh, yeah, so, uh, sorry, that's not it. That's uh, my builder vessel. Where is it? It's T... There it is, it's brain. We're still flying here, I think. Or were they stopped by the hostile fleet? Maybe they were stopped. I'm not sure. Let's just focus on... Okay, here we go. So, second fleet is arriving where the pirates are. Right. The pirates have been weakened now. They've only got 1.2. Yeah, destroy the pirates. So we, I just want to destroy them for the sake of the experience. Hostile, please engage. So the Provians are now engaging this alien pirate fleet. Not even within our borders. Okay, we have the advantage. Our shields are holding. They've lost a ship. They've lost one of their corvettes. Three of their corvettes now. Our armor is holding. Shields are still holding. Yeah, if this this fleet features a cruiser, I believe. A brawler class. Where is it? Sorry, can I zoom in on it? Can we spot it? Is that it there? Oh, wow, you can actually mouse over. It's got the names. Frigate, frigate, frigate. Oh, there it is. It's all the way back here. I see. Yeah, there's a brawler class. You just lighting them up with lasers from, from distance. That's kind of cool. The pirates are screwed. Very good. Very good indeed. Admiral Khan Seaweed has leveled up. Fantastic. Uh, although at the age of 73, probably won't live to see the actual war. Very good. We've destroyed them, and we've maintained most of our ships. I think we lost... Oh, wait, did we lose three corvettes? I think we might have lost three corvettes. <laughs> uh, thank you, C5. Uh, C5? Wait, C5? Thank you kindly for the compliments, and welcome. Right, let's have them return to Striker's Mojo over here. Hmm. Yeah, so let's have a look at... So this empire here, they're very weak. So they are pathetic strength. I wonder if we can force tribute out of them or something. Um, what, what would we get from them? Yeah, pathetic strength. They don't like us much. Even though we just helped you. Hello. Uh, close borders. Ask to be their vassal. Yeah, right. Insults. Hmm. What's this? Sorry. Close borders to everybody. Oh, yeah, they're, xen they're xenophobic. Okay, they're not going to like us. They have a trade deal with those mushroom people. Interesting. Okay. Make claims on the High Kingdom. We'll ignore them for the moment. <sighs> right, so, yes, so the ISS Brain is about to arrive at this strange Cybrex homeworld system over here that we didn't know about before. Oops, my bad. We'll investigate them. Thank you, not a single uh, word. Thank you kindly. What's this? The Cybrex Central Nexus. It would seem that the Cybrex re-evaluated their galactic crusade against organic life at some point in its 17th year. Whether this change was prompted by losses on the battlefield or an ideological shift in the network consensus, uh, we may never know. But what, what, sorry, uh, for whatever reason the Cybrex decided to halt their campaign. Okay. Uh, they began to a slow withdrawal that lasted for nearly a century until they eventually vanished completely. We now know that they retreated to this system where they had constructed a massive ring world designed to house their entire civilization. 
They isolated themselves for several millennia until an independent explorer chanced upon their system and spread its location to the rest of the galaxy. The news that the dreaded Cybrex had been found again prompted several neighbouring powers to organise a massive military expedition which bombarded the Cybrex ring into rubble. Strangely, the Cybrex seemed to have offered no resistance whatsoever. Right. Okay, you wow, a big unity boost. So our civilization has a huge unity boost, 2,600 units gained, which will almost certainly buy us another tradition. Thank you, uh, Kony Jamala. Thank you very much, Kony. Or Kone, even. You don't like sand, it's coarse, it's rough, it's irritating, and it gets everywhere. Mm. Mm. Yes, indeed. You say that, you see, when, you, when you're talking to a, like a senator and she's wearing an extremely revealing dress that like, covers everything but, you know, her nipples. Am I, am I remembering that scene properly? She was like wearing this really, really revealing dress. It was like, oh, I'm a senator. I don't want any, you know, I don't want a relationship. And then she's just teasing him the whole way. Um, thank you, not a single word. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, sorry, wait. So, unity gained. Engineering research gained. Energy credits gained. 2,000 energy. Excellent. Ends the Cybrex home system chain, chain event. Sweet. Okay, then. What's the maximum of that we can have? 20,000. Uh, yeah, we're, we're good. And we can afford another tradition. Oh, it's good. Fantastic. Okay. So this is these are the remains of the Cybrex. Can we do anything with this? Can we build on it? Scan the system. Survey the entire system, please. Figure out what's here. Okay, so... Traditions are available. So, yes, this, this is basically a screen that will dictate uh, common traditions for our entire race. Um, and we've just got one last one in the expansion tree, which will then unlock an ascension perk down here, I believe. So, a new life. So, a new life awaits our citizens in the off-world colonies. A chance to begin again on a golden land of opportunity and adventure. With the help of, a, of an aggressive marketing campaign, the less fortunate elements of our society will be flocking to our colony ships. Okay, new colony starts with one additional population. It's not that great, but we've reached the end of the tree, so we can now get an, em so an empty ascension perk. Right, these are cool. So these are very good bonuses for our entire civilization. I can't do anything with the ring world because I don't have DLC. Really? Oh, that sucks ass. That sucks ass indeed. All right, never mind. We'll just put a beacon down and move on. Okay, so the stars beckon and we follow. Uh, what's this? So, Interstellar Dominion. So, star base costs reduced by 20%, so we'll be able to claim systems faster. Grass to the void. The, gra the vast expense of the galaxy... Sorry, a star base capacity plus 5. We'll build more star bases. Um, monthly unity, 10% improved. And, uh, and governing ethics attraction plus 50. I don't really know what that means. Um, mastery of nature. Clears blocker costs by 33%. Uh, there's a... There's a uh, a discount of 33%. Unlocks planetary edict land clearance. Permanently increases the size of a planet by one to three tiles. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Imperial a prerogative. Core systems increased by plus five. Executive vigor. Edict duration plus 50. So we can... Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Transcendent learning. Uh, so we'll get two additional leaders and their experiences improved when we recruit them. Uh, shared destiny. So uh, subject integration influence costs reduced by 75%. Um, I think... I think this sounds pretty good. Ma so bear in mind, we have two worlds that aren't that great. And the worlds in our local area aren't that fantastic. So we can reduce the amount that blocks cost to clear by 33%, but the real nice one is an edict that will increase planetary size by one to three. What do you guys think? That sounds pretty good to me. Thank you, little angel wings. Thank you very much. The Galactic Wonders Ascension perk allows you to repair ring worlds. Uh, no, don't, sorry, what? Galactic Wonders. Oh. I don't know what you mean, sorry. I don't think it's here. I can repair the current broken ring system. I uh, just, I can't build new ones with the Utopia DLC. Oh, I see, I can build new ones with the Utopia DLC. Sure, sure, okay, cool. So what do you guys think? What should I go for? Go for Mastery of Nature, I'm thinking that too. Thank you, Razak, thank you very much, Razak. I see, Galactic Wonders is a, is a part of a DLC. Go Imperial Prerogative. 
Yeah, no, I'm just gonna, I'm, uh, I'm gonna uh, get rid of the core system thing. The, the sectors thing. Thank you, Steffi the Fox. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll go with this. So, Mastery of Nature. Yes, please. So, we'll be able to issue an edict which will let us expand the size of our planets by one to three tiles. Thank you, Law. Thank you very much, Law. Supreme Commander Law has subbed everybody. Uh, the uh, now dead leader who no doubt has statues all over Pravaris Prime. <coughs> Hi there, Lorth. Okay. Fleet combat status. Oh, that's just the old bit of combat. Right. So let's see. So uh, I need to end the stream in a moment because I need to uh, go to bed fairly soon. Let's just have... Brain dies off and scan the system and see what I can do with this. And then I'll finish up the stream. Okay, scanning the star system. We'll give this place a name as well. Indeed, Lorth, I'm afraid you died of old age. Ripe old age. Uh, which was a bit, of, a bit of a problem because you're a bit of an energy industrialist and you caused an immediate energy crisis with your death. <laughs> your absence. System survey complete. Okay, system survey complete. It's been fully surveyed. Okay, I guess we can't do anything with the pieces of the ruined ring world without necessary, the, well, the necessary tech to repair. Okay. Right, well at least we know it's here. Build a research, build outposts, claim it. Anyway, hang on, we can almost claim it. Let's just grab it. Are you sitting on a golden throne? That'd be ridiculous, you're nowhere near that cool. The very suggestion is heresy. Hmm. Okay, so we're just continue, continuing our expansion efforts as best we can. We need to grab that, grab all of that, and then, well, by that point I hope we'll be ready for war. Where is... what's he doing? Moving over. Yeah, he's almost there. There we go. Okay, our building ship has arrived. Please build an outpost. Well, we just need a little bit more influence. <laughs> Magnus did nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. So XF3 Nix, so Phoenix, is now building an outpost here, manned by brave and intrepid Provians. Can you steal rain? <laughs> that's a later tech. That's down the tech tree, obviously. Okay, let him do that. Repairs complete. First fleet has now been fully repaired. Excellent. They repair themselves on their own, it seems. 1.4k. Let's let them continue the hunt then. Return to your previous mission, which was to identify and destroy pirates for the sake of experience. Could, could someone point out the stream title to me? Why? What's wrong with it? Oh, the Provision Dominion. Oh, fucking. Yeah, I've done goofed. The Provision Dominion. The Provian Dominion. I think I must have just typed that. I was drunk at the time. I mean, it was before I opened the beer. Fuck you. I can be retroactive. Yeah, I can be drunk prior to opening the bottle. I'm an idiot. Leave me alone. Hmm. Hmm. Upgrade the fleet. Yeah, probably. Well, it's fine. They're, they're off on their way. Right. Also, let's go to the Cat the Star system and just put down a couple of defensive fortresses. Please give me two more. Let's also make sure that they are suitably auto-upgrading. Defense platforms. Uh, yeah. Don't think they are, are they? Auto-upgrade? Auto upgrade. There we go. Construction complete. Right. Oh, good. So we're done. Ruined ring world. Oh wow. Oh crap. Oh wow. Holy shit. I can. Takes a lot of time. Has mega engineer. Uh, mega engineering. So we need that. It will cost me twenty thousand minerals per section of the ring world. Cool. Okay. We'll have to work on that both resources, well, both minerals and uh, and that piece of technology. 
What's that? Sorry. Uh, migration Treaty. Yeah, two different... Uh, the Sojag League, and I don't know who they are, sorry. Okay. There's now a Migration Treaty between them. Sweet. Okay, and let's give it a name. So... Who would like to volunteer? Who would like this presumably extremely critical world named after them? Any volunteers, please? Any volunteers in the chat? <clears throat> huh. So I think it's going to be something ring. It's going to be the something ring. <laughs> I just had a thought. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, scratch this. Scratch. Oh, she's going to hate me. Oh, she's going to fucking hate me. Uh, this is Cake's Ring, everybody. Uh, right, so, uh, sorry, we'll do another world later. Right, this is going to be Cake's Ring. Uh, as you can see, yeah, we're going to be building lo lots of big plans for this. Big plans, indeed. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll start with some research immediately. Uh, we'll build a research station. But uh, later, there's going to be many, many millions of people living here, I imagine. Right. Thank you, Frogger. Thank you very much, Frogger. Thank you. Oh, Cake's in the chat. Cake says... Uh, in an ele well, she says, you fucking asshole. Well, it's a very sort of mouse squeaky voice. It's like, you fucking asshole piece of shit, she says to me. That's fair, Cake. That's fair. <clears throat> I I I'm picturing sort of like a dormouse shaking its fist, like angrily. That's how intimidating that is, Cake. Right, so yes, uh, so yeah, we're building a research station within Cake's ring. And uh, yes, the population, well, we need to actually um, build... A living living environments there if we're going to actually populate it and, and have it as a as a Provian Dominion um, Right. Oh good. We finished researching the flat cannon. So it's the type of point defense for our for our ships uh, Sorry rank two flat cannon or is that just default? Okay um, Ooh, exploit resources a uh, Garanthium ore. Uh, we don't actually have any of that in the Empire. So it's a bit pointless um, Dura steel armor um Hi, Quebec. Uh, ZF Quebec is in the chat, everybody. Feel free to say hi. Um, right, so I'll probably go with the Star Fortress now, to be honest. Yes, going to take some time, but we should probably do Oh, no, do that Corvette build speed for that uh, bonus, uh, tech bonus, um, tr tradition bonus. Right, okay, I do need to leave it there, I'm afraid. Um, I've kind of run out of time. It's uh, 20 past 11 on a work night, so I'd better, uh, I'd better get Lulu outside so she can have a... Well, she's already had a poop, actually. I'll get her outside just to uh, stretch her legs. And, um, yeah, and then I'll be winding down to go to bed. So, thank you for watching, uh, both Hold Fast if you were here, and uh, Stellaris now. Um, thank you kindly. So, before I go, just to get you up to speed... Hang on. <clears throat> Hello, sweet pea. Uh, before I go... Um, so, I'm currently working on VR Pavlov bullshittery, which, if you're not, if you're not familiar, is basically Counter-Strike, but in virtual reality. It is the fifth week of work, uh, and uh, obviously... Five week, I'm, I'm quite far through. I'm very far through the video. Um, it's really, it's really entering the quality assurance where I'm sort of fixing things that are broken or perhaps that I didn't like. Uh, but yeah, the video is very, you know, we're, we're close now. Uh, I'll need a few more days though, truth be told. So I'm just going to keep going as best I can. I was hoping to have it ready by the weekend. That's way too optimistic. Um, so I will just have it to you as soon as I can. Um, so yes, um, as for this little, this little pickle down here. Uh, she had fun today. Uh, she w she went up to uh, a big park here in Brighton, uh, where she saw because the, the the park has a a farm next to it. She saw a horse for the first time ever, and uh, she didn't like it at all. She started growling at this giant dog thing, uh, the horse, and um, and she also saw chickens. Uh, she also hated them. Uh, they were strutting around and and taunting her from behind behind chicken wire, obviously. And uh, she was like, oh, I'm going to kill that. I was like, no, you're not going to kill that. So, um, but yeah, she had fun. She basically tore around, uh, ran around like a forest, like a little nutcase. And um, yeah, she had a really good morning. And she also saw my mother. She's very fond of my mother. So um, yeah, she's good. Yeah, she's very good. Right. <clears throat> so thank you again. Thank you. For, thank you again for watching. And I'll see you soon. Thank you, Mark. Thank you again. Uh, thank you kindly, Mark. And Frogger Fizz. Thank you both of you. Thank you. Right. See you later. You have a good evening. All the best. Uh, who's streaming? So Digby's playing. Swat is playing. Uh, and uh, Kyoshi's playing. Who else am I following? Yes. Uh, hang on a minute. Do you want to watch something? Right. Lulu, do you want to go for a walk? 
<laughs> there we go. Awkwardly fling herself up. Um, right, okay, so... Um, oh, hang on, Dinklebean's playing. What's Dinkle playing? Uh, although I could do KJ. Hang on. Yeah, I'll hand you over to KJ. So uh, this was the uh, the admin guy from uh, from the whole fast video. You know the guy who goes, "I'm walking here." Um, this is him, the guy from Boston. Uh, I'll leave you in his company. So uh, yes, have a lovely, lovely evening. All the best. Sleep well. This is KJ.